Hi, I'm Laurie here at Valerie's house in Southwest Florida. I'm the group night coordinator and tonight I'm going to be showing you sticks and stones. So this is an activity that will be allowing the children to discuss the difficult and positive things that have come from their grief and give them a little hope at the end. So you're going to start with these blank rocks and in them you're going to write something that has been hard or difficult through your grief. So maybe you've had bad dreams and you can write that on there. Take a few minutes and write several things on multiple different rocks. Make sure they're all filled up with those negatives, the things that are weighing you down. Once you're done, you're going to put them in a bucket of water. And you'll see the rocks fully submerged in there. And the ink will start to fade away as we are working through our difficult problems of our grief. While those continue to fade away, then you'll take your popsicle sticks. Um, and you're going to start writing positive things, things that have changed or things that you have grown through in your grief. Um, you could write things like learning about your feelings, or maybe you've made new friends. Maybe you've come to Valerie's house or made connections. All of these things will be positive things that uplift you and have changed since your grief in a positive way. After both of these have been added to the bucket, give time in between each to discuss as a group. You'll see that the rocks sink to the bottom while the sticks and the positive things in our lives float. Um, once we have made it all the way through this activity with lots of discussion and allowing the kids to have time to share, the kids will each then take out the rock, whichever of their choosing, put it in a paper towel and dry it off. You can start to see that those colors have faded off. You can wipe it off. It's not perfect, but it's faded. Then they're going to take Sharpies or acrylic paint markers and start to paint over that of something hopeful. So it could be, I'll do this one later, but I have some here. It could be an affirmation and their favorite colors in leaves, or it could be a rainbow and something that makes them feel hopeful. Then the kids will take the two rocks. One will go home with them to remind them of all the hope and opportunity they have in their life. And the second one can stay here at Valerie's house if they'd like in our rock garden in the backyard to remind here at Valerie's house that hope is possible. Thank you.